FBI raids in Coeur d'Alene. Good evening and thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Robin Nance. And I'm Dave Erickson. Several people were arrested and their homes and businesses searched today during a sweeping drug bust in Coeur d'Alene. In a story you will see only on KXLY4, our Jeff Humphrey live tonight. Jeff, the FBI used its SWAT team. And Robin, that usually happens when agents have determined that their suspects are either trading in or defending their illegal operations with firearms. The number of people arrested here in Coeur d'Alene today, the number of agencies involved, all indicators this was a big time criminal enterprise. This residence here at 9th and Homestead is one of several properties in Coeur d'Alene raided this morning as part of a sweeping federal drug bust, one that rousted neighbors from their early morning routines. We happened to be looking outside and we saw that it looked like the FBI showed up. About five or six people in uh, full riot gear, it looked like. And they knocked on the door and said we have a search warrant. Neighbors say the home being searched belongs to James O'Neill. After using an FBI SWAT team to make entry and safeguard a 10 year old boy who was homesick from school, agents began towing away all of O'Neill's adult toys. A boat, a truck, snowmobiles, go-karts. The United States alleges they are all ill-gotten proceeds from a drug dealing ring that trafficked marijuana and cocaine. People who know O'Neill and his three kids were surprised by his arrest. I ran outside and uh, asked him not to shoot the dog, you know, because we know the dog across the street. And it's it's shocking. I mean, they're the nicest people, some of the nicest people we've ever met. Their kids are great kids. You know, our kids play together, so it's. It was very surprising. The FBI, DEA, and Idaho State Police also executed a search warrant at Schiller's, a nightclub here on Sherman Avenue, where witnesses say the agents seized a number of items, including gambling equipment. This afternoon, Schiller's was closed. And tonight it appears that O'Neill and the others who were arrested were indicted by a federal grand jury. That means they're going to be held without bond until they can appear before a federal magistrate on Wednesday. Reporting live in Coeur d'Alene, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.